Okay, we're here in Zaragoza, which is Spain's fifth largest city after Madrid, Barcelona, Valencia and Seville. Which is a shame, it goes a little bit under the radar, but it's a really good city. It should, it's definitely worth visiting. The Casa Antigua, the old town, is cramped packed with bars and narrow streets. The rest of uh, the city is really quite wide open spaces and nice wide boulevards and avenues. It's a beautiful city with lots of interesting things to see and do. Okay, we're here in Zaragoza on the Ebro River. Zaragoza is the capital of the Aragon region. You'll have heard of Aragon, goes back in history a long time with English connections, Catherine of Aragon. Can't be many queens that have married an English king that have, and had previously married the king's brother. Uh, Zaragoza is a fantastically interesting place. Just behind me, you've got the fantastic basilica, the Basilica de Nuestra Señora del Pilar, which means the Lady of Our Pillar. The pillar is the spot where, in the, the year AD 40, St. James knelt down to pray and had a supernatural vision of Mary, who at the time was in Jerusalem. In the spot, they've put a jade pillar with a, 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 an icon of the Lady Mary on the top. It's an incredible basilica, it's an incredible place, and it's hugely important in the Roman Catholic faith. The basilica obviously was built on Roman foundations and clearly in the past and there are obvious references to it it was a mosque before it was built into this really impressive building we see today. We're here in Zaragoza's Alha Feria the Moorish castle dating back to the 11th century and they still hold part of the regional government here. It's a fascinating building. Uh, the caliphate was run from here, the separate caliphates, and it's an incredibly interesting place. independent brewery is Ambar and it's very nice. Cheers.